routine traffic stop. Peter has more on that for us this morning. Probably not how he thought it would end. Yeah, this is an insane story. Listen to how this went down. Aubrey Lee Price was arrested Tuesday after a year and a half on the run. A federal grand jury indicted Price in absentia more than a year ago. And today, finally, he's going to face a federal judge for his crimes for the first time. When deputies pulled over a car on I-95 in Georgia Tuesday morning for having illegally dark tinted windows, they never could have guessed who was inside. The driver, a former banker accused of stealing millions and faking his own death. It was a blow. Aubrey Lee Price was indicted by a federal grand jury in July 2012 on charges he defrauded the Montgomery Bank and Trust by moving $21 million into accounts to hide thefts and losses while he was a director of the bank. Authorities say Price, a former preacher, told acquaintances in 2012 that he had lost a lot of money in trading activities and planned to kill himself by jumping off a ferry. I never once thought that he was dead. This surveillance video shows Price a year and a half ago, right after writing a suicide note confessing to stealing money. He was last seen June 16, 2012 in Key West, Florida, boarding a ferry bound for Fort Myers. You were shocked to know the guy, you know, or seeing the guy. Next thing you see in the paper, you know, they're after him. The FBI says they always thought Price was alive. In this episode of American Greed, the fugitives. The case gained national attention last fall when Price was featured on an episode of CNBC's American Greed. $40 million. Now Price is once again making headlines. And while his appearance has changed, his victim's anger remains the same. Uh, justice prevails, um, and the Bigfoot of karma will come back and squash you. And I thought this part was pretty interesting. When he was pulled over, Price was carrying several IDs with different photos. That's according to the sheriff. At first, even they couldn't figure out who he was. Apparently, Price said, sit down, I'm going to make you famous. He finally identified himself as the missing banker. By the way, we contacted Price's wife for comment. She had none, but I'm guessing if he hadn't uh, killed himself, as he claims, <laughs> he probably would have taken care of it. She's 